Yeah, cool. What's up? Uh, me and Dan are playing each other in the what, NLG Monthly Highlander yep. final. Uh, it's four rounds. Uh, cut to top four. You just beat Andy, the store owner. Yep, yep. After he dropped a near battle sphere on turn, I think it was two. Wow. Two, no, so turn three on the play. So, I, I, so yeah, I'd had two turns. I yeah. lost that game. You could cast Wimcore the next turn as well. <laughs> Man. Not much you do about that. Yeah, I had to watch some games against Sam. Um, he activated DAC like, what, six times? Like that, yeah. Anyway, and I just got there. I was on like a really low life. Anyway. Uh, cool, let's play. Cool, man. Yeah. Sweet. All right, we're at the start. I'm on the right, and Dan's on the left. Uh, this is at, yeah, NLG Ringwood, uh, any store. It's been open for like, I don't know, a well, year? About a year now. So they open towards the start of the year after the GP. Yeah. No, it's good. It's um, you get lots of different players out the way because it's kind of further out. Yep. So it's fresh. Yeah, there's you get a lot. Of, I think a lot of the like Croydonish players, the older. Uh, yeah, yeah, and there's some old school guys who who were friends with Andy who come. Yeah, who well. come to support a store. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, anyway, so Dan's on the play. Dan's the play. We actually oh, that's a steel shaper's gift. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, the glare is pretty bad, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, so it was sixteen players. Best of uh, four rounds. It's cut to top four. Dan finds a J with his Steel Shaper's Gift. Mm -hmm. And Dan and I ID'd at 3 0, and he finished on top of me and Breaker, so he gets to go first. Yeah. Yeah. I lead with Noble Hierarch, mm -hmm. one of my four mana guys. Yeah, yeah your decks are, as we said in the deck tech, caught between a mid range deck and an aggro deck. But yeah. you're definitely having more of a mid range start, which is what you want because in these sort of creature mirrors, you want to be a little bit slower. Correct, yeah. yeah. So luckily, I not he doesn't own me with this Arbiter. I haven't got fetch lands that I'm relying on. You don't play any of the deck, do you? <laughs> I do. I play seven. Oh, okay. So it's you just did draw any. Two yeah. color combinations actually play seven fetches instead of nine. Yeah. So I'm less susceptible to Arbiter. <laughs> yeah. Especially on turn two. Mm. On the play from Dan. Yeah. And you know about the Jude because he revealed it with Gift, which is the best piece of equipment in this kind of in this kind of matchup, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's all about Jude and Clamp. Yeah. These matchups. Always. So and Fire and Ice does a pretty good job compared to Clamp as well. It does, but you can just chump, you know. Yeah. Whereas Jude and Chumping does nothing. Yeah. yeah. What did you cast there? Is that a That's voice? That's Voice of Resurgence, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Off my Horizon Canopy. <clears throat> What's your opinion on Horizon Canopy? Do you like it? I really like it. Um, it helps fill the graveyard with uh, for Treasure Cruise now, which I yeah, try yeah, run um, yeah. in my band deck at least. Mm. Um, and it's you know it's just if you have Knight of the Will Aquary, sometimes you can start oh, yeah. fetch for a draw card. Yeah. And let, a lot of the creature decks don't um, yeah. need that many don't need that many creatures. Yeah. So yeah. So I burn my source of clashes <laughs> now. I believe it's because I've got a Green Sun Zenith in hand. Yep. Uh, it would have been nice to hold it up to try and tempo him out when he goes Judea equip mm -hmm. but I think I needed the shuffle effect next turn yeah alright so kitchen fix Dan yeah, so that's all right. both uh, at parity here on our boards yeah he gains two life I, I remember instantly grabbing my pen to gain the life yeah which was a mistake you know obviously you want to wait yeah, to let make it. sure they forget, don't forget yeah. you know yeah they might miss it yeah so if you, you said you had Zenith, if you Zenith here for three, what would you even get? What kind of what kind of green creature do you want in this matchup? I believe my plan is to sit on the Zenith. I oh, know, um, I may not have it. I am not sure. <laughs> so Council of Judgment taking out the Kitchen Phoenix. So obviously I've got another answer to Jude. Otherwise yeah. I'd hold that Judgment for the Jude. Yeah. Or maybe your strategy was that I can't do it with the Jude. So let's just get rid of all the creatures. Well, Judgment deals with the Jude. So that's true. True. Yeah. True. yeah. You swing for three here. I do see the Zenith in hand, yes. Okay. So, my plan is to uh, Reclamation Sage, the Jude. Ah, uh, right. Or Quasi Prime Mage. Yeah, it, yeah, right. you Reclamation had Reclamation Sage gives you more value. Yeah. Alright, so look, Dan's got Priest, that's the pro black. Uh, Subtari Sub Priest? Yeah. Yep. And Soldier's a Pantheon. Yeah, so Soldier's good against my voice, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, if, if you attack with your um, if you attack with your uh, 
We see a sky trader late. That doesn't really matter. Oh, it's a one one. Yeah, <laughs> well, it, becomes, it becomes a two two, so it trades. Yeah. It's hilarious though, because uh, it's probably the only deck in the format which would be a one one against. Maybe against mono blue tinker. As yeah, well. tinker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you saw that one one time. <laughs> yeah. I've got an unexpectedly absent in hand, which yeah. uh, Dan is not playing. Yeah. I'm not sure if he just simply couldn't get access to it. What does not think it's good? Yeah, he rushed to get his deck together, yeah. which he's done pretty well to make it to the finals. Mm. Uh, Absent's not that good against his deck because he runs less fetches, so you have less you have less chances to get blowouts. Yeah, well, they can always um, choose to not search. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right, so I'm thinking here, what I want to do if I want to like put the soldier on top and then bash him with the voice as well. Mm -hmm. You deal one, you deal three, like if you did that. Mm. Oh, you'd have the Mutavolt. Mutavolt, well. okay, yeah. so Mutavolt can get to a 3-3 three, three to get over the soldier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, I could probably crack the foothills here now, so he doesn't have even Mind Sensor. Mm. But I choose not to. Even Mind I Sensor. I suppose I don't need to crack mm. the foothills to cast the unexpectedly absent, so. Yeah. Just the Jude. Jude. So we put on the monk. He hasn't got the land. Yeah. It's unfortunate for Dan. It's huge. Like he can't race you at all. I mean, I guess the the soldier's doing a decent interpretation of a wall, but um. It's, yeah. It's, he like he needs to have a, his next turn needs to be big for him to get back into this game. I think because you're just going to grind him out slowly at this rate. Yeah. Or he just needs next turn. He needs to equip the Jude. But yeah, he, he probably, wants to connect with Jude. He probably wants to cast another creature as well. Yeah. It all comes down to whether I have the answer to the Jude. Yeah, I do, and he probably suspects that, considering I left open three mana. Yeah. Um. So you know, there's something to be said for, for not playing the land and just bluffing it out. But I don't know. That's 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 way too deep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Crack the foothills. So with your Zenith, you can't really. Uh, oh no, no, no. You can. You can do it immediately this turn. So if you didn't play the Jude, you would Zenith for the Kasai Pride Mage, so you can get rid of it instant speed um, well, it's... I've, I've got the unexpectedly absent so I'd, I'd want him to Jude equip and then I can tempo him out with the unexpectedly absent yeah yeah. instead of just getting rid of the Jude so yeah instead of getting Pride Mage proactively and yeah. holding up one mana which he wouldn't play into you know he'd just play yeah. a creature instead yeah so. um, and now you're choosing to get the soldier on yeah, top well, and since, bash in next yeah, turn since the Jude is already down yeah. I'm putting the soldier on top so I had to make the decision whether I wanted to race his sh shadow guy mm -hmm. or, you know, with my non multicolored creatures mm -hmm. or whether I want to bash it with my multicolored dudes as well. Yeah. And I made, you know, the decision to put the soldier on top, whether it was correct or not. I wanted to put something on top because he hasn't got the land drop. Yeah. yeah. And there's the Zenith. <clears throat> for three. For the reclamation stage. Yeah. Do you like that guy? Uh, I don't play it. I just play uh, Pride Mage and like um, my other artifact destructions in the sideboard. Mm. Um, the only way I get it is with Green Sun's Zenith. Um, yeah. I, don't know, I just don't feel like I need it. I feel like Kasari Pride Mage and Bantrap is enough to get rid of artifacts. Okay. Oh. I think I think it's a very strong Reclamation Sage. Oh, so uh, I also have Counter Magic in my deck, so I can always deal with artifacts. Yeah. 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 I like. I've got Restoration Angel, which blinks, which is mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. And I've also got Pod. So potting for us, like having more, you know, tutorable targets, I guess. Mm. Situational, strong toolbox creatures like, like Sage, yeah. Mm. Why didn't you attack with the Mutavolt here? You were, you're Hellbent, so... Oh, do you want, you want to draw a card, didn't you? I think, I assume you want to draw a card. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm hellbent, so I always want the cards rather than the two damage. Yeah, because you're you're ahead on board anyway. Yeah, yeah. And I'm racing that yeah, monk, there we go. so I don't really want to pay extra life. life. Yeah, that's true. All right, and now he's got the soldier back. To... Stand still, no lands. Right, do you have an answer for the permanent answer for the soldier? Oh, you have a sca is that a scavenging ooze? It's a scavenging ooze. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, and a dried militant. Actually, it's not. It's not actually that good because you you exiled all his creatures. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In this mirror, we've all got exile removal. Yeah. So. It's actually quite awkward. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> what's the, what's the other card? A oh, dried militant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which is. 
not that, not very strong, so especially against the Soldier of Pantheon. <laughs> yeah, so we have exiled spells and exiled creatures. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean his guys got pro multicolor. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm um, tanking here. Um, how do I want to bash? I can get in with four with the Mutavolt. I can go with both Manlands. Or just bashing with just Muta Vault's probably. And then buffing it with the Mithras Factory. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Reclamation Sage is no longer 76, so. Yeah. yeah, that works too. Yeah. Yeah, just um, attack with all the creatures, yeah. all your monocolor creatures. Because even your Scry Trout attacking by itself, it's a 1 1 training with a 2 1, which is fine. Yeah. And I just need to race that soul, that soul, Tari Monk. Yeah. Because um, I've got the Ooze in hand. You were happy to trade. I would probably bash with the voice here. And get, and, the, and get the ooze to a 3-3 three, three so that it can yeah. trade it can be bigger than the soldier yeah Sounds so dance fun. unfortunately he doesn't realise that I get a token voice off the yeah. voice so. he parts your middle vault yeah so that's pretty rough for Dan I think Dan's just not very um, he plays vintage mostly right? exactly yeah he's a vintage yeah. specialist yeah so he doesn't see these like weak cards <laughs> or relatively weak cards yeah by vintage standards mm. of course I've definitely done giving my opponent some voice tokens yeah. in the past yeah, yeah. <laughs> voice is a very strong card in Highlander um it's just because a lot of the most powerful spells are instants yeah I remember summoning against uh Wolfie playing Kurgan and his face yeah. just went completely upside down <laughs> <laughs> just like, uh, uh. it's so nice um having a voice in play when you're you've got the Jude and you're worried they have the removal yeah you know because you won't get out tempoed if you get the token yeah so Elspeth from Dan is really going to help him race me here I think his only option is to race really you've how much damage you have on on board so one two three four five six seven is your size of your token seven eight nine ten eleven yeah i think you have, you have lethal next turn he has the block he has the block yeah he can't he can't race you i mean this is we five with the priest it's been an eight and then the following turn he can jump the soldier to get in for seven which puts him to one so he needs like a clamp or um yeah he wants a clamp off top to get that extra damage yeah <laughs> there's no so, other hasty effects as far as I know in what we need yeah and here he blocks your giant token beast on one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so you don't have lethal yet because the, the token gets blocked and it is multicolor and there's no creature in the graveyard for ooze to eat yeah So that's a huge token. <clears throat> but it's multicolored token, so you It is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wish it had trampled, don't you? I don't own any of those tokens, it really annoys me. They're actually hard to get. Yeah, cause um cause voice was a mythic in a small yeah. in a small set. Yeah. I cracked a lot of that set though. It's Dragon Space, right? Yeah. Yeah, set three. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're discussing uh where my guys are going. Yeah. I believe all that Dan is the right way to go. Yeah. But if you kill the Elspeth, then he doesn't have that out next turn of killing you with the jump. It's true. He only has seven on board with the jump. Yeah. Um, so no, but he ha yeah, yeah, true, true. But I would, if I kill the Elspeth, I don't give him the out of clamp or steel shapers for clamp. Oh, he's already cast steel shapers. Yeah. So clamp or stoneforge for clamp. Yeah. Um, but I might give him an extra turn in just, you know, but I think next turn you you might have would you have guaranteed lethal next turn if I okay. kill the Elspeth yeah killing the Elspeth would be pretty tough I'd have to send because you, because your token's big enough to force him to block it right okay yeah sure yeah oh no I haven't done the actual yeah, math yeah but... what's that long line yeah so what is so, it yeah he needs to rip a, the clamp yeah I didn't see it I can't remember what he ripped. <laughs> I popped the fist. <laughs> you can tell by their facial expressions, like instantly, if they have it. Yeah. He's just tanking on any other possible options. I love that feeling of all in. Yeah. <laughs> just no fear, just like, ah. Yeah. Uh... Looks like I ripped a chrome box. That's not very good. All right, so yeah. that's game one. Okay. Um, I'll just pause it here and go to look at the sideboarding. Okay, so this is how I've sideboarded for the second game. It's best of three, reminder. Mm -hmm. um, basically, all right, start with what I've brought in. 
uh, Thrag Tusk, you know, just big life gain dude. It's just huge. Yeah, it makes me... Multiple, multiple bodies. Yeah. yeah. Um, bigger than anything he has. Uh, the life gain helps me erase his shadow creatures. Yeah. And his flies. Uh, I can pot into it. Like yeah. Green suns for it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Mirror Crusader arguably should be in the main deck. Mm-hmm. It's uh, good enough, I believe. I think so too. As a main deck card. It's kind of like a soft cyborg option that I just rush together because mm. I there's a lot of green creatures in Highlander so I th- that's why I think it's yeah. good and plenty of the removals black especially from the control decks yeah yeah um <clears throat> he's got he's got the first strike of his double strike is what I'm after I yeah. want to keep him uh Dan off Jude counters basically when he yeah. attacks me uh Limbalo just a, a flyer um to block his flies he's got like spectral procession mm. Um, even mind sensor, etc. Yeah, about a skull. Once Just again, it's ar- huge. Yeah, um, arguably I could have took it, taken out the sword of fire and ice to mm. bring in the battle skull instead. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with this yeah, matchup, yeah, yeah. but yeah, maybe Mother of Rune should be main deck as yeah. you were discussing with it's me. It's really earlier. good. <laughs> yeah, it's only bad against sweepers, so yeah, I should just main deck it mm. and. Like, her protection is excellent against Jide. Yeah. To keep off the Jide counters. Yeah, the damage just doesn't yeah. get dealt. And Sundering Growth is just, uh... It's all... This, equi- this matchup is all about the equipment. Yeah, it's a, it's an artifact... It's an equipment war, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And Dan still plays the Oblivion Ring, Banishing Light, mm. so I can get... And Journey to Nowhere, so I can get some sweet blowouts. Yeah. Yeah. I actually make a few tokens as well. Mm, that's Sorry. true. The voice and the threat tusk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Elspeth. Mm. Yeah. As, as we've taken out, uh, Dried Militant, the exile ability is irrelevant against yeah. White Weenie. Um, it's a small and, one drop. Yeah, he's got like Soldier of the Pantheon, and sh- you can just outclass it with like little first strikers <laughs> and stuff. Uh, mm. Witness was a tough cut. It's a bit dirtily. Like, yeah. it serves its function, but essentially it's pretty dirtily. Yeah. Um, well, runs it, more for control decks. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, like Dan can just chump and race Thrun yeah. and all his removal is exile which is so makes witness bad yeah you know um, um, ooze is a bit ooze ooze is bad because all your removal is exile both of our removals are exile yeah. it's, it's only good if you're just trading on board correct just yeah. trading um, Scratch Hurley is just a 1-1 one, one because he <laughs> only plays basic planes yeah. and Celestia Charm I'm surprised you didn't pick that out yeah, well, I mean, he's got no creatures that have five power or more. Not even the buff effect? You don't want that? Um, it, the pump? The pump effect is only good if you're the aggressor, which true. is not necessarily true against White Weenie, true. especially because yeah. he'll be on the play. Yeah, and you have better capacity to slow down. Yeah, and yeah. the 2 2 for 2 is shit. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. All right, let's move on to Dan's sideboarding. <clears throat> so you can take yeah. over this one. Uh, so Dan brings in... Um, bunch of a bunch of flies and big creatures so so um we have dawn elemental which is a flyer that's really hard to kill through combat but you don't have any flies anyway so i think uh, the combat protection clause is not that relevant yeah, well but it lets it block yeah it blocks you can really well block and if i've got a jide the jide won't get counters yeah which is good a lot, a lot of these creatures have incidental um incidental advantages against mm-hmm. the jide uh linvala for the same reason you bring it in yep. battle skull huge guy i've got mana guys <laughs> linvala is a lot stronger against me yep. than mine is against his yeah um, and Baneslayer Angel is just a huge flyer. It's massive. Um, if I haven't got the removal, I lose. Yeah, he, he he's uh, he's an aggro deck, but because these grindy games um, go so long that he will get to five mana to play the Baneslayer Angel, yeah. and there's a journey just as another piece of removal. Yeah. Um, and Dan's boarding out yeah. his Ravages and Armageddon, mm-hmm. which because makes all his four and five drops. You know, he can bring those. Yeah, in. he can actually cast them because yeah. he won't lose his lands. Yeah, and they're also not very good against you because you got you have some amount of mana dorks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he just takes out a bunch of uh, relatively low impact one drops because these games once again go long. You don't want a top deck. That's the final lines. You want a top deck like you know, want any of those cards at the yeah. top. Yeah. And he's seen like you know, voice of resurgence and loam lion. Yeah. You don't want to be. You don't want to be trading with those. Yeah. yeah. No. They just uh, get outclassed. All right. Let's get onto the game. Game two. Um, seven cards. <laughs> So I think we're looking for that less explosive starts from both of you now, because you, yeah. you both took out a couple of one drops. Yeah, yeah. I've still got Lone Lion, but yeah, not. not I've got no Sky Shroud Elite, which is terrible against him anyway. Yeah. So this is gonna be a grindy along yeah. game. We'll see. And you take a Mulligan. Yeah. And you're in the draw, so that's okay. Mm. Um, do you do you play Wilder Cattle? No. Just as a two-two, no. I don't. Um. 
my criteria for the one drop basically had to be able to block zoo guys and yeah. two two for two doesn't one do that. doesn't do it yeah. or like mana guys are fine as well because they help yeah. me ramp to ramp to the big, big guys, guys. that can yeah. block yeah alright so we had turn one soldier of the pantheon um that's a reasonably aggressive start yep if he follows that up with the turn two Leon and Arbiter then you're gonna have some trouble you'll but, see uh, I've got the mana guy again yeah similar to last game mm-hmm. that's a savannah mm-hmm. that I've fetched mm-hmm. Dan bashes in for two. Th- there's the other. There's the other. Okay. I just been his best draw. So he's got like I don't know, Mirren Crusade and Digite or something. Yeah. <laughs> I've got voice again. He's got exactly. he's got the soldier to yeah. negate it. Yeah. Um, all it does is uh block the Arbiter, which he just holds back for a yeah. while. Do you have a fetch land in hand, or did you have a land? I can't remember. <laughs> I think I see a basic planes, and I must have one other land. Okay, that's, that's a planes as soon, and. What do you cast here? A Spirit of Labyrinth. Okay. Okay. It's, so it's all right. It blocks a soldier. Yeah, I kept it in because it shuts off their clamps. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, Spirit is. I feel it's underplayed. Um, Does Zoo play that card? It's excellent. I don't think so. I think Zoo is looking for more just large <laughs> bodies rather than right. utility. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And Spirit affects symmetrical, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. Um, but you can clamp it. Yeah, you know, it'll die before you the trigger resolves. That's true. Draw the cards. That's actually an interesting interaction. Yeah. Is that Sultari yeah. so, Monk? Or yeah, Priest? pro red. The so pro no, red no land drop from Dan. Yeah, Ooh. which is rough for him. That's uh, Nantuka Monastery, mm-hmm. and I've got Jude, and it's game over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> that's brutal. I played against White. Oh, I played with White Winnie for yeah. a lot. And yeah. um, so the Soltari Shadow guys are uh, two one, isn't he? Correct. So you just kill two of his guys yeah. instantaneously. Yeah, wow. And I've still got the Jedi. Yeah. So Dan like immediately needs an answer to the Jedi. Yeah. And if he does, he still loses two creatures. So it's a three for one. Yeah. And he takes three in the process. Yeah. Pop 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 pop. Yeah. There's nothing he can do about that. Pop what magnitude? <laughs> That's a, it's a disappointed finger. He's like, did you rip that? Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he was almost angry with you. Yeah. Did you rip that? You I think I gave him some thing. bad manners. Oh, okay. I said, sorry, Dan, before I even dropped it. Oh, uh, I never apologize. <laughs> and because he's missed his land drop, he must be a bit salty. Yeah. But Dan's a great guy. Yeah. So. I think, I think he's, you're snarl, you guys are starting to laugh it off. Yeah. <laughs> He's it's got a figure, figure. And that's not no, an answer to J. Nor is it surviving. And it's a 2 2. Yeah. yeah. I never liked putting a counter on the figure when you. It's confusing. It yeah, it is. I put like a coin or something. Like something that's not a dice. Mm. I just <laughs> leave it as it is. Um, sometimes it's hard to forget. Mm. So sometimes it's easy to forget. Yeah. Alright, oh, so. Oh, wow. All the good cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's yeah. unhappy. I don't even have to trade here. I can still. Oh, so I won't lose the two mana from re-equipping to a different creature. Yeah. So that's how much? Oh, seven. No, sorry, six damage. Yep. And killing the yeah, killing the figure figures out before he can make it a four four. Yeah, because he he keeps priority after making the land drop. Yep. Uh, you. <laughs> he he's he's not killing the Elspeth, so he might as well try and race. It's the only thing he can really yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's interesting because when I'm versing a Jade. Normally, I don't drop my creatures. I just hold them all in hand and wait and just hope I rip the answer, and yeah. then I drop them. Yeah. Um, obviously, you have to start dropping them at some point to preserve enough life. Yeah. Um, but Also, dropping creatures means he's killing them instead of just pumping his guy and going for it. Like, if he, if you don't... If he's not yeah, using his counters... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. But then I guess he's, if, you, if you're not casting your creatures, then you're holding up mana for removal, and then they have to be worried about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah you couldn't you didn't have lethal that turn so you just decided to make a soldier yeah <laughs> what's that oh Dan has these vulgar tokens uh, that he's made himself he must uh play soldiers in other formats yeah for we to have those for our, us at Sneak and Show don't condone vulgar imagery <laughs> yeah it's a bit uh, a bit objectifying yeah. I guess so yeah, yeah. Anyway, move back back to the game. That's a that's a discussion for a different time. <laughs> um, back to the game. Dan makes his third land drop, but I I think it's a few turns too late. <laughs> yeah, and he um, hasn't even got the answer to Jude, or he's just given up and he's yeah. not playing it. Yeah, yeah. Right. online Jude, Elspeth, you know, it's over. Yeah, Jalen Vala. This is yeah. a spectral possession that chumps. 
That's a start. Yeah. That's why uh, that could buy him like at least a turn to draw the answer. Yeah. Absolutely. And you can always just clamp out of any mm. rut you're in. All the else, but it's pretty tough, I guess. Um, oh, from memory here, I proceed to make terrible attacks. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. So, so there's much. Yeah. So he's got an arbor in play, which I haven't paid for. Mm -hmm. I think technically he could have called me on that, and I would have just lost the land. Yeah. He lets me pay two because he's probably out of. He's just being. He's, he's out of apathy. He's like. Well, yeah, yeah, and he's just a nice dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Don't do that again. Yeah. Slap. Alrighty. So, what do you mean here? You have a voice, which is kind of unnecessary here. Yeah. Um. I can't see what else is in your hand, no. but I can't imagine it being particularly relevant. Alright, so... Re-equip the Judo to the Lidvala. But I actually just left him on the Spirit. Yeah. Because then it forces him to triple block it, you buff it, and then you get rid of his special possession. And you still get two more counters onto it. Yeah. And then you can equip him next turn. Also, you, you can jump the, the Spirit to yeah. keep it alive. He probably just wouldn't have triple blocked it. Yeah. Well, is there a way for you to get lethal here? <laughs> No, I can't get through his spectrals. He, yeah, he just chumps. Yeah. You force him to chump and not trade. Yeah. And he just blocks one each. Yeah. Like, by me putting the Jude on the Limbala, it means if he hit rips from Rubel next turn, he's hitting my best guy. And, you oh, really, you, you really want to put the Jude on the on it, my worst guy. The smallest guy, yeah. You chose not to kill his spirit to preserve your spirit. So you're a spirit of the labyrinth. True. You didn't kill his token, did you? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, which, you know, arguably bad. It's pretty bad, but, but you're so far ahead anyway. Yeah. So I think I just heard the doorbell, so at least here. Um, yeah, alright. Um, I ended up winning. Um, got some store credit. It was a good good day. It was a good um, weekend. Yeah, there was lots of like newish players. Can you all... Yeah. Alright, thanks all right. for watching, guys. Thank you. <laughs> See Hello. We just finished recording. Sweet. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it was very really unexciting and one-sided. <laughs> Whose match was it? Uh, it was like his match at Wingwood. The other. The other.